Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you very much for being here today. Okay, so let's do 10 minutes, approximately 10 minutes in my journal. I'm using the Hobonichi Techo. This is the Avec. I have a lot of empty spots, but let's see where, I think I did a doodle somewhere that I wanted to color in. There's this one here where we went camping. Um, so I have my watercolor set out. There are these ones here that I can also do a bit of coloring. Why not add some color here? It's going to be very basic colors. And then while this is waiting, uh, waiting to dry maybe I can work on this one I'm not sure how much I'll be able to complete in 10 minutes it's not going to be exactly 10 minutes it'll be roughly 10 minutes I think with these uh, shorter bursts of journal time it um, yeah it just allows me to take a bit of a break during my work day and to have some fun as well. I mentioned in a previous video that I've been really into... Sorry, I lost, I lost track. Oh yeah, so I want to color this like bamboo whisk type of thing. Um, so I've been working a lot on my knitting as my way to wind down during the day. And Today I feel like catching up in my journal a bit. I shared uh, recently in, in the on my Instagram how empty my October pages are and my September too, but mainly October. I mean we're already in November and but I'm not going to there are so many encouraging words uh, from people on Instagram saying, you know, I don't have to, I'm not stressed about it, uh, I'm not worried about it, uh, but I, I know sometimes for myself anyways, or maybe somebody who's just starting off with journaling, um, you see all these beautiful spreads, I'll share with you my full um, completed journal and it looks so wonderful and colorful and, but I wanted to share the other side that myself as a journaler too, we also experience, you know, times where we don't fill out every single page. And I just wanted to say that, you know, it's okay. Um, I don't want you to feel discouraged and then quit journaling altogether. Uh, it's very, it's very important for me to continue. It might not be um, journaling like this. It might be just writing. It might just be writing. This journal I haven't touched in a while too, but sometimes it might just be writing. And it could be writing letters to friends. It could be just coloring. Uh, there's all these different creative outlets. And so I guess I wanted to share that part of myself on Instagram as well. So this is a little scoop. It's, I believe it's also made out of bamboo that you just scoop out the matcha powder from here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't explain this. I think somebody requested like a photo. I was talking about, I purchased the Canon Inspic and they wanted to see like a photo uh, printed out on the actual printer and this is what came out. I. This is, I I'm, I'm collaged two photos into one photo sheet. So that's what it looks like. But yes, we went to a Japanese matcha tea ceremony slash um, Japanese wagashi, which are like sweets. Um, it was like a combination workshop for the kids. So it was geared for the kids. So it was very, it was not very long, it was very short to the point, very easy to understand. And so there is the matcha powder in here. I'm just going to randomly, this is not the color of it, but 
it's roughly around like that and then same with this this one the bowl I didn't have a proper <laughs> I didn't have a proper bowl for the matcha tea so I just bought um, I brought from home like a miso soup bowl <laughs> there were other parents of course um, that had the proper the proper uh, how would you say the pottery for it uh, I, I of course I don't really make much at home so I, I don't even drink much that much uh, it's very rare and so I just brought a ochawa for like miso soup and things I just brought that from home it was a nice size for my daughter anyways it wasn't it was um, not too big and not too small and you can see her making it there hopefully yeah it was a really fun experience I think this was black but I'll just make it blue just to add a bit more color so in the other room we made the wagashi sweets the Japanese sweets and that was actually very very it was a very nice combination of the sweets because it's almost like sugar and um, you pop it into your mouth and then you have a drink of matcha and it was just a perfect combination I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit darker on the inside all right and then maybe I'll add some watercolor to outline it a little bit later on but it's a little bit damp so yeah even with this one I haven't really outlined anything Oh, I don't remember. I think I I, f I edited the video. I don't recall if I added this watercolor outline in the video. So here is a look at how this has turned out. And that's the fun of these. That's the fun thing about these smaller sessions. Um, if I just feel like coloring, I'll just take my water brush and I'll color around my doodle. And that's maybe that's all that I need for the day, or uh, that's all that I want for my break. And I'm just going to add some color here. We went camping, and usually for camping we make kare raisu. I know it sounds really strange to make curry for camping, but it's like the Japanese style. The Japanese style curry it's very easy because you can just cut up the vegetables at home and you have a bunch of water you can cook your rice in this I don't know what it's called I guess rice cooker and you add the curry with the vegetables and it's done so it's very very easy and but yes it's very quick and easy and we usually do Kare rice for camping. And for the morning, we usually do. Uh, in Japanese, they say hotto sando, which is like hot sandwiches. But it's just basically two pieces of toast uh, with some cheese and some ham, and you put it on top of the fire. You know that sandwich maker thing <laughs> I don't know what it's called you just kind of flatten it out and then you just put it on top of the fire um, but yeah we do that for breakfast and it's always a hit so I'm just adding some light color nothing special the water brush and watercolor palette is always so very convenient to have and oh this day because we were of course away from the city we were able to see a very clear sky of stars and i actually saw a shooting star which is so neat i don't know if i've ever seen a shooting star in japan uh, we live in tokyo so it's pretty much impossible to see that uh, in the city 
but yeah, I don't think I've ever, I mean, we've been camping many, many times, but I don't think I've ever seen a shooting star while at camp. We're gonna make some, a little bit of black here. If you go camping, I'd love to hear what you make or like what's on your menu or your go-to menu for camping. I think it's always nice to change things up. We always end up doing the kare raisu, but I would love to hear what you make on your camping trips. We went uh, September, but it was so hot and humid and miserable. Um, yeah, I, I, I had a difficult time because it was very, very hot and humid. Of course, it was still fun and we made the best of it, but yeah, it was very humid. So inside the kare, we usually put some vegetables. I'm going to just color these in like carrots. <laughs> and the kare part is brown. Oops, that's a little bit more... And this part is the rice. Let's just fin finish off the orange here on the brush. I'll just add it to this fire here. And with the rice, I'll just kind of outline it with some gray, just like you see here. All right, so I think, oh, I'm a little over 10 minutes, but that's okay. This is just what I needed to kind of take a break for my day. I'm on my lunch and these nice quick sessions kind of help with the journaling. Sometimes I want to doodle and then sometimes I want to color things in and so it's very helpful to have these doodles kind of ready to go. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are doing well. I hope this little video gave you a bit of relaxing time. I always appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.